Suhail says, can you kindly explain this hadith? Abu Huraira radiallahu anhu said, I heard the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam say, this world is cursed and what is in it is cursed except the remembrance of Allah, the dhikr, and what is conducive to it or to that, or one who has knowledge or who acquires knowledge. The hadith is a clear um, discrediting of the life we live in. Yes, it's glamorous, it's beautiful, we enjoy it, we strive to attain it from all means possible. We enjoy life, there's no doubt about it, yet the Prophet in this hadith is highlighting a fact that whatever you see is like a mirage. Whatever you see, it's like quicksand. It looks normal, but without knowing, you're going to fall into it and end up somewhere unpleasant. Why is that? Because Allah created this life we live in as a test. Every single individual in this world is being tested. From the person who is on the top of the list of the 100 Forbes richest men in the world, to the poorest peasant, beggar, person in the dumpsters of the poorest country of the world. Both are being tested. So, the Prophet is highlighting the, this fact and telling us this dunya is mal'oona. Mal'oona means cursed, which means that Allah Azza wa Jal has cursed it, that Allah has kept it away from His mercy. This is one meaning. And the other meaning is that it is disreputable, something that is unwanted. And this is the most highly uh, uh, authentic meaning of it. Allah did not curse this life we live in. Allah gave it to us. And this life is not cursed for itself, but rather for what it leads to. So you tell me that if I spend my life worshiping Allah, doing good, staying away from haram, that my life is cursed on, on earth? Definitely not. And this is way, why the Prophet made an exception. So it is disreputable except for whatever includes remembering of Allah, which means all forms of worship, reciting the Quran, making the care, and whatever gains or helps you in gaining or acquiring knowledge about Islam. So whatever you do in learning the Qur'an, tafsir, Arabic, hadith, sunnah, fiqh, anything that gets you closer to Allah Azza wa Jal from these Islamic sciences, then this is exempted. Now, having said that, we, as stated earlier, explain that cursed here means disreputable and that the Prophet is encouraging us not to allow this world that we live in to live in our hearts. Rather to have it in the palm of our hands. Whenever we need, we give it out away. And we won't find any burden or harm from releasing it. Because it was in our hands. But when it's in your heart... Detaching it would become very painful, if not fatal. And this is how most people look at this dunya and have this intimate relationship with. It, they're attached to it and they cannot leave it. And this is why when death comes, it's the most difficult thing for them to leave something they love and cherish to leave something that they belong to, for them, the unseen. 
We don't know what's going to happen. And this is why death becomes so painful for them and may lead to a bad ending. May Allah Azza wa Jal protect us all.